And we're going to talk about that next break. It's okay. uh, 215 You're going to have to explain that one to me. I am. I'm not really 1003, our toll free 1 800 232 1003. We're here with Red Cafe and Cassie. It's the all new morning beat with Charlemagne on 100.3 to beat. What's up, Mustafa? Hey, what's going on? What's up, brother? I ain't nothing. I had a quick question. Um, For Red Cafe and for Cassie. One for Cassie. How does this, um, does it upset you or bother you when you have a song that you think is hot? And then somebody like Diddy wants to get on there who can't rap. He's a great businessman, but his rap sucks. And for um, Red Cafe, my question for you is, has anybody ever told I mean, I like your music. You sound, you know, your music is hot, but anybody ever tell you you sound like Obi Trice a little bit? That's the first time I that's the first time I heard that. That's not the first time you heard Diddy suck Red Cafe. Don't you tell that uh, lot. Uh, no, I thought he, he said <laughs> No, no, the question, the, the question Obi for Trice, Red Cafe man. was that he, he sounds like Red uh, Obi Trice a little bit. But for oh, Cassie, when I you... Mean, when, Maybe Obi Trice sound like me, though. Oh, yeah, true indeed. Yeah, true you indeed. know. And I ain't mad at him. If I was him, I would want to sound like me, too. <laughs> okay, I ain't mad at that answer. Right. But for Cassie, when you got a hot album, when you feel like you you got a song out that's really hot, and then Diddy comes in the studio. I don't know how that process works, but he comes mm -hmm. in the studio. I'm like, yeah, that's hot. Let me, let me throw something on that. Does, that. does that bother you? No, it didn't bother me, and I, I like the rhyme on the on the record. So. Well, not just not just with that. Don't, doesn't he have a um on your other song? He rapped on your other song too, didn't he? My my very first single you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. No, that was cool. I mean, because it had Jock on it. It was just like kind of like welcoming me, me into Bad Boy, being in the Bad Boy. So it wasn't no. Uh, okay. So right. Thank you. Good luck to your both, thank both you. Your albums. Yep, doll. New morning beat with Charlamagne on 100.3 The Beat. We're here with Bad Boys. Latest artist, Red Cafe and Cassie. I started to say victims. I'm not going to lie. I started to say latest victims. But I... You're funny. I'm just being honest. <laughs> no, you're right. People like don't win movie. on Bad Boy. Except unless your name is Diddy. Red, you know this. Me and Red I mean, are going to turn it around. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to... I think it's a good look. Turn around with people. I, think it's, I think it's a good look. I mean, the last rapper from Brooklyn that got with Diddy, we saw what happened. Biggie, he blew up, so... Biggie? Yeah, you know. Biggie didn't... Remarkable thing. Was that something that you like really wanted to do? Like, did you say, you know what? I think doing a joint venture with Bad Boy would be a good look. How did that come about? That whole joint venture because he was already on Convict. Yeah. So how did that come about? Um, you know, me and Diddy was talking about a few. We were working together, and um, we started talking about a few different things, and and we kind of was seeing eye to eye on a lot of them. You know what I mean? And then whatever we wasn't, you know, was, you know, we thought that we could negotiate. You know what I mean? I had other I had other options, plenty of other options. Still have options. But um I mean you could have stayed empty. The co op was a tough album with yeah. you and Envy. Right, right. You could have did the empty thing. Right, we could have kept doing it like that. But um, you know, I look at myself as being one of them dudes, you know what I mean? So, you know, I think it was time for a change and um the things that Diddy did in the game was was pretty special and, and Bad Boy is like, you know, that's a, a black owned company, you know what I mean? That's, that's one of that's the only label left, like, you know, so I want to keep that legacy going as well as build my own. And me and him seen eye to eye on a lot of different things that that will put me in that place, so in that like, presidential seat. You know. What I mean? Are you featured on a uh, last train to Paris? Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. It should be cool. I just don't understand how Diddy can have like great MCs ghostwrite for him and still be whack when he raps. Like I know you <laughs> ghostwrite for him, Joe Buttons, Royce the Five Nine. Those are great MCs. Um, I, nah, did he, did he got some cool lyrics when you listen to him? Well, I don't oh, know. Oh, Red. I don't know what, okay, Red. I don't know what else. Oh, yeah, he's hey, on hey, Bad hey, Boy. Hey, now nah, he got to say the political what stuff. What is rock at, man? Oh, my God. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, Cassie, as I was talking to you earlier, yeah. now, it's no surprise. In R&B, it's, it's, it's Beyonce, mm. Rihanna, mm -hmm. and everybody else. Like, I, I think I think Carrie's starting to get her own space. Well, right. In R&B pop land. I'm saying right. R&B pop land. Uh -huh. Carrie Hilson's starting to get her own space. Sierra, even though her last album flopped, she's still there. And then it's really like the rest of y'all. That's why I say it's a Beyonce, Rihanna world. So how, how do you separate yourself from that? How do you get yourself noticed? Other I than mean, shaving your head and having <laughs> naked pictures leave. Well, I have to say, just to clear that up, shaving my head wasn't, you know, a screen for attention. It's mm. something I really wanted to do for a long time. Okay. And I finally did it. So that's that. But um, honestly, I just got back into doing things. I'm working hard. I can only count my blessings and just work as hard as I can. And... That's what it is. I don't think I live in anybody's world but my own. So I'm, I'm my own competition. And I'm fighting to get past what I did before, mm -hmm. obviously. So that's, that's the biggest jump for me now. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. All right, we're going we're to talk to Red Cafe and Cassie one more time in one hot second. If you got questions for them, 215-263-1003 or toll-free 1-800-232-1003 or email us, themorningbeat at gmail.com. Yeah. It's the all-new morning beat with Charlemagne on 100.3 The Beat. Uh, the all-new morning beat with Charlemagne. What's up, Melody? Good morning. How you doing? Good morning, baby. 
Um, I just I just needed to comment on that the song that you just played from Cassie. Okay. Um, usually when you are coming out with a new album, you want to release a song that is going to get people to can't wait to hear what else. And I feel like the best part of that song was Bust the Rhyme. So. Nah, um, I, I would have to. Di- I, as much as I would like to in, 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 uh, entertain you, but nah, I actually think that record is alright. You think so? Yeah, I think the record is kind of okay. I, I like don't know. Kinda. I just I didn't like the beat. I didn't like nothing of it. But you know, I mean, I, I'm willing to give her a chance. See what else that she got. And thank you. You know, you, you, the the stunt with the pictures helps. It always helps when you do something like that before <laughs> um, you're about to come out with a with a new album. But I I just feel like I wasn't feeling the song. I am just one opinion. You know, I am just one opinion. I'm just one listener. So I I'm not well, for hopefully it. Hopefully, we can turn around it. your opinion, Mama. You know, I, I appreciate that, too. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm willing to hear what else you have. But that song didn't quite catch me. All right. Thank you for cool. calling, thank baby. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's the all-new morning beat with Charlamagne on 100.3 The Beat. DJ Touchstone providing the soundtrack. That was Drake, best I ever had. Kathy just asked me how I felt about Drake. Mm-hmm. And it, 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 I, I said that, you know, I really didn't care for Drake. You know, last month I was actually saying F Drake. But now I'm starting to appreciate Drake more. Right. Do you, do you like Drake? I like I like some of his mixtape stuff. I'm a fan. I, I like the So Far Gone mixtape. I don't like when he sings, though. I like, I like when he you actually like when he raps. raps. Yes. Yeah. So, so do you do you have a release date yet? Both of y'all, Red Cafe. I'm I'm fall. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know exact date though. No. Okay. My album is Red October, so you know that's you know, we're looking at October. Does Diddy's Does Diddy's train have to get to Paris before y'all albums come out? <laughs> I don't no. know if it's Express or you know I don't yeah. know if it's local. You <laughs> know what I mean? But I'm Red October. You know what I'm saying? We haven't We haven't heard a first official single from from you since you've been no. with Bad Boy. Though. No, no, you haven't. You, you know? got something coming? Or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like we got the record coming in about two weeks. Don't. I'm, def- I'm coming back here. I want to debut my record right here. And that's we do we, that? Yes, Red. No <laughs> question. I, yo, listen. I, I just wrote yeah. an article in Ozo, right. and the name of the article was DOAA Die Old. Ass artists, right? And I actually mentioned you in the articles. I was I was talking about you know guys like Jaden, and it's not like we, we can't keep encouraging what was, you right? Know? If, if you want the culture to really move forward, you have to embrace the future. And I actually right. mentioned you and Mano as being like the future. I'm part, glad part you I'm glad generation. you touched on that. That that's that's a problem that I I definitely have. see. I ain't a whiner, so you know I, I just continue to do me and keep pushing. But that's a the problem that I think that we had over here on the East Coast is the guys that was in position. Or that are still in position, they never embrace the new. They, they didn't do their job to to the hip hop community to pass the torch. Mm-hmm. You know, it got to the point where everybody started making money and they start smelling themselves. You know what I'm saying? And they never did the right thing. That's why you had like people like Red Cafe just grinding, doing my thing on on on, on my level and making it hot. You know what I mean? Now, you know, with even Diddy, whether or not I, you know, say I didn't want to do the, the 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 bad boy deal, but just him reaching out. To being interested in helping to pass the torch, makes sense. you know what I'm saying? That makes sense because you know, like you said, you know, a lot of these dudes they just in position they don't want to pass the torch. I mean, and just because just just you can still play doesn't mean that you should. Like like Shaq can still play, absolutely. But that's not gonna help the league move forward. LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Carmelo, absolutely. that's what makes the league move forward. Look at you, look at look at LeBron. LeBron be at the games. What's the little young boy name that LeBron be at his games? That's their Curry, Curry son. Yeah, LeBron be at his Curry. Curry. Stephen Curry. Stephen yeah. Curry. He be at his games. You know, he ready to. Pass the torch already. Like, yo, you know what? I want to embrace the youth and let people know that, yo, dude is hot. You know what I'm saying? So we got to do that. So, Cassie, this fall? This fall, I'm actually going to be on 106 in Park tonight premiering the video. Please say you're not singing. (laughs) 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 That was so But you said me on, but you 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 ran right into that one. Okay. All right. Well, I will be there. I'm just premiering the video, but I'll be back there for a performance. Are you flattered that Lala shaved half her head and she said that? No, she she called me after she did it and before she blasted it out and sent me the picture and stuff. I think it looks great on her. Hers is a different version, obviously, but it's. I still. Do you do that yourself, or you got somebody? No, my hair style. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's actually a good look. Like, and I was saying earlier that on Lala, it looks kind of jokey because she's older and she's a mother. But being that you're younger, you can. She you, made you it fly though. Off. She kind of got, you know, she has the lines and stuff. Okay. I thought she made it fly. All right. Well, I pray yeah. that both of y'all avoid the rape of Diddy. <laughs> I pray that y'all avoid the bad boy curse because it is a curse. And you know, I just hey, at I, least you're praying for us. I, yes, I just I really wish y'all the best. 
And Red Cafe, if I ever hear you on a Day 26 record, you know, <laughs> me and you just, you know, you see each other in the street. I say peace, but, you know, I you know, got nothing good to say about you anymore. Ever. Uh, and Cassie, no more nude pictures from you. Don't worry. Okay. Got it unlocked. Y'all are right. we, we appreciate y'all for coming through, man.